Hi, I'm Brenda from the Avant Garden Shop and welcome to another episode of The Garden Gate. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about ways to keep your birds warm during this cold period of weather that we're having. Um, things like uh, peanuts, they give them lots of carbohydrates so that they can produce lots of energy to stay warm. Those are really important to have in your feeders, whether it's in the shell or out of the shell. Suet is another great thing to keep the birds warm. All that fat just really helps to keep them warm. There's a suet cage as well that you can have. There's lots of different types of feeders. Um, roosting boxes are also another nice option for keeping your birds warm. The birds will actually go inside. You might see a whole flock of little chickadees going inside and gathering together and sharing their heat. So that helps to keep them warm as well. Making sure your feeders are full. Um, they need to feed very quickly in the morning. So they've been uh, outside all night nestled together in their coniferous trees and then they need to eat. So make sure your feeders are full all the time. Hopper feeders are a great type of feeder because you can put a lot of seed in them in the winter. You can probably put about five pounds of seeds in this one. There's even larger ones that are available. So hopper feeders hold lots of bird seed. So next spring, plant some coniferous trees in your garden because the birds need these dense branches to hide in when they're uh, trying to stay warm on these cold nights. And um, think about uh, other plants that you can plant, like uh, pine or spruce, that sort of thing, cedar trees as well. And join me in our next segment, and I will talk about a spa for the birds in the winter. And welcome back to the Garden Gate. I'm Brenda from the Avant Garden Shop. And uh, we're talking about how to keep your birds warm in the winter and to treat them right. A heated bird bath is one more thing that you can do. You can create a little spa for your birds. They'll sit on the edge, get a little drink. Sometimes they will bathe, and that's okay because their feathers will actually shed the water okay. But there's very few water sources for the birds in the winter. So if you have a heated bird bath, you'll get a lot more activity in your backyard. And it's a lot of fun. These are very durable, only 70 watts. They turn off automatically when it's, uh, when it's a warmer temperature. So it's a great addition to your backyard. So the heated bird bath can be mounted on a pole right in the ground or it comes with a little clamp so you can mount it right on your deck rail, which means you can have it really close to your back window. So I hope you'll join me next time on The Garden Gate where we'll learn a little bit more about what you can do for your birds. The Garden Gate is brought to you by the Avant Garden Shop, your destination for gardening accessories and backyard birding supplies.